In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change canvas size and rotate the canvas using Adobe Photoshop. We're also going to learn how to use the paint bucket and eyedropper tools. The canvas size is the total area of a Photoshop document's workspace. Increasing the canvas size will add blank space around the image, while decreasing the canvas size will cut out parts of the image. Image size is different. Reducing the image size will shrink the image, and increasing it will make everything larger. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to increase canvas size. First, go to the top of your screen and select Image. Then, select Canvas Size. A pop-up window will appear. If you know the dimensions you'd like the canvas to be, you can enter them directly into the Width and Height boxes. In the drop-down list next to these text boxes, you can select your unit of measurement. You can also check this box marked Relative. Then, just type in the numbers that you would like to add to the canvas's current measurement. You can use the anchor position to indicate where you'd like to position the existing image on the newly sized canvas. You can use this drop-down at the bottom of the box to indicate the color that you would like to use for your background canvas. When you've selected all of these options, go ahead and click OK. In order to rotate the canvas, go to Image, Image Rotation, and select one of the options given. Rotating clockwise will rotate to the right. Counterclockwise will rotate to the left. One application of changing the canvas size is to add a frame around your drawing. To color the frame, use the paint bucket tool, which is located here on the left. The color of the front box down here will be the color that you paint with. To change this color, you can click on the box and use the color selection tools. Then, simply click where you want to change the color. You can also use this tool, the eyedropper tool, to select color from a part of your image. Simply hover over that area, click down. If it changes the background color down here, click this button. Now, you will paint with that new color. 